Hey guys, so Revit warnings. Um, this is going to be a quick one. It's on scope box, does not intersect level. It's pretty straightforward. That's essentially all it is. Um, so this is what the warning looks like. Um, but it's pretty much when you try to orient your level to a scope box, it's because a scope box doesn't intersect that level, so it doesn't um, associate it correctly. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. So we have level and then the scope box itself. When we click that level to associate it to a scope box, this scope box doesn't intersect, so it doesn't um, pick up those boundaries um, of the scope box itself. So I press escape and then we'll jump into Revit. I've already placed the scope box. Uh, I've opened up a template that has nothing in it, so just a blank template and it has some I just placed some walls in it and then I place the scope box if you want to place your own scope box just go to the view tab and then over you'll find on the create panel this scope box button just make sure to be in plan view if you're in a 3d view it'll be grayed out when you click on scope box over here to the left you'll have an option for name and then height Either of these don't matter if you don't have them. You can just put a, you know, keep it as this generic height and this name. Uh, when you place it, you can update that information. You can change this to whatever it is. You know, if we wanted to change that to scope box one, since there's only one in here. But if you wanted to change the height, you don't get that option over here. So you'll have to actually go into a 3D view and then you can shift it around that way. So to recreate that warning, if we turn to an, this view, if we then pull up that scope box to where it's above the level, because sometimes you'll let your levels will be below it uh, when you place it. Not, you know, if you're just in a plan view, you may not even notice what happens. So just keep that in mind. You can also see that it disappeared it, because it, uh, the view range isn't picking up that scope box. But if we go into this 3D view, and then grab this level you can see that plane there as well so that kind of gives you an idea um, and then you will orient that level to lock to that scope box so we'll click just make sure to update this scope box uh, parameter and then we'll see that it gives us this warning because it doesn't intersect with the scope box we can expand this and get a little bit more info it'll tell us but ultimately it's just because it doesn't intersect so if we grab this pull it down uh, grab that level again we can go down here and try to associate it and it should be good to go we see that the plane shifts to be uh, in the scope box boundary and then we can do that for multiple buildings so if we're Say we have a site plan, we have a whole bunch of different buildings, then we can go in there, set up multiple levels at the different elevations, create the scope boxes, and then orient them correctly to those um, buildings, and then create the necessary sheets and, and so on. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea if you had trouble with that warning. Hopefully it clears some stuff up. If you haven't seen it before, hopefully it, you know when you do run into it, you'll know what to do. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you want me to show you. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.